back, please. Step back. That's right. Come on, folks. Give us some room. Anything? She looks familiar. This is the foreign girl Jack was involved with. Right. We gotta let him know. What's his sector? I think he's Charlie. Sector Charlie on the air, K? Nona said he was gonna marry her. This is Sector Charlie K. 1085 this unit, the alley behind 5500 Underhill Avenue. Poor Jack. Sector Boyd to Central K. We have a confirmed DOA, 5500 Underhill Avenue. There looks like three bullet wounds. One come in near the heart. Jack, you don't need to keep looking. Hey, Jack. Talk to you for a minute? Yeah. How well you know her? We dated. What, long time, short time? <sighs> About three weeks. When's the last time you saw her? About a month ago. Anything you can tell us? She came from Latvia, was in this country less than a year. I think the town she said was uh, Pavlost. She wanted to go to school to be a clothes designer. Any ideas she's hanging out with? She was having problems with immigration. She was uh, having problems finding a job on account of not speaking the language very well. She was vulnerable. All kinds of people could have taken advantage of her. Can you identify who any of those people might be? Nah. Something occurs to you, let us know. Right. Thanks. You want to not go for early, Jack? Nah, thanks, boss. I'm okay. They live like pigs. They carry on, they carry on like hyenas. You work with animals? Think it's funny, huh? Think it's funny live next to these baboons, huh? All right, we'll see what's going on. You should drown him. You should drown him like, like, like rats. Yeah. Please. Hold your shut your own mouth. Wrong. Yeah, good. This is all I need now. Do to your face. Please, you understand? We need to see what's going on. I fell from a ladder. He did not hit me. Well, where's the ladder? It was borrowed. I returned it to the lender. No, she doesn't have to give you any chapter and verse. What the hell happened to the ladder? What's your name? Scranton. Paul. You listening to me, Paul? What? Shut up. See, I thought I lived here. Don't make trouble, Paul. Oh, trouble? See, I thought I had a few civil rights. Shut I'm this up. close to locking you up. Oh, my God. This is all I need now. Oh, you both. Fraction my eye socket now, this. What's your name? Jerry Fallon Scranton. Were you to the emergency room? Who told you you had a fractured eye socket? She's nowhere near a hospital. Shut up! I had a fractured eye socket two years ago, and I had the same type piercing pain. He hit you? He's finally back at the warehouse. All I need is no paycheck. He hit you? No, he did not. Horn sledge, you fell off! Get down, ladder! 
is the last my gratitude. I'm Lion slurs. She won't verify you hit her. I can't lock you up. But I got a good idea. If I looked in here, I'd find illegal paraphernalia. You don't mention drugs because you probably consumed those. Your neighbors had it up to here with you carrying on. You know, did we complain about that... Whatever that immigrant dancing was. Serbian folk dancing. The point I'm making, if we have to come back, we take you both in. We understand. I see more marks on her. I will sign the complaint. Fine. Good. Thank you for your understanding. This is an accident waiting to happen. Yeah, well, don't do nothing to prevent it. Something our new friend can't share in. I'd prefer to talk to you privately. Forgive me, I know. No one likes to feel excluded. The girl Jack was involved with, who you followed, turned up DOA. Where at? In an alley by Underhill Avenue. Shot three times. So she on her way to choir practice? This happened. I don't know what she was doing, but the guy you found her with is an obvious place for them to start looking. I'll give them a description. Mark and a Murphy caught. Uh, who found the body? Anne Marie and Phil were first on the scene. Jack didn't have to see it, I hope. They called Jack to let him know he did see it. They did. How's he doing? He all right? He's a little shaken up. Tell him I'm thinking about him. What's going on? Johnny? I'm Uncle Richard. Johnny got pulled over by a highway cop on the BQE. Which I'm not saying he was wrong to do. Uh-huh. Johnny didn't want to come in here. So I'm willing to take my medicine. How did you find out about it, then? Nucci caught me. He's going to get points on his license. Their insurance premiums are going to go sky high. And from what Johnny tells me, it was totally uncalled for. Let me see the ticket. Five tickets? This guy decided I was like a bad guy or something. I mean, before I even opened my mouth. I mean, he looks at the clothes, he looks at the earring, he looks at the hair. Speeding. Which I was like eight miles an hour over the limit. Failure to signal? I did not fail to signal. No seatbelt. Broken taillight. Excess window tint. What did you say to this guy? Nothing. What's wrong, Sonny? Did you tell him you had an uncle on the job? Yeah. And you were respectful? I was totally respectful. I'll look into it. Thank you, Uncle Richard. I mean, like I said, if it was just me, you know, I'd take my medicine. I just don't want to impose any financial problems on my parents, and, you know. Johnny, I said I would look into it. I will look into it. He's telling you he feels bad. I'm going to go check the meter. Before you say anything, this was one of your nieces you get involved. You'd have no doubt but that they were right and the highway cop was wrong. Vicky, I am getting involved. He's got to understand. He wants to dress like an idiot. He's got one strike against him going in. I'm not disagreeing with you, but still, he doesn't deserve this. Okay. I mean, with Henry paying off his gambling debts, they just can't afford it. Okay. Don't be mad at me. I'm not mad. No reason to believe the son would be anything like the father. How deep was Larry into this girl? Not too deep. Deep enough you checked her out. Uh, Jack sometimes thinks with his dick. We were just looking out for him. It's good you did. There he goes.
killed the Soviet Union. And what about the gun in here, Kalyakin? When's the last time you fired this gun, huh? What gun? Let's take a ride. Tell us all about it. Drive your seat, am I right? Wow. Whatever position you played, you got some legs on you. Detective Murphy. Be all right. I looked in. Sure. Thanks. You knew Elena Romskaya? Yes, I knew. When's the last time you saw her? Maybe two weeks ago. Maybe three. We run ballistics on your gun. We're going to find out it's not the murder weapon. I don't shoot this gun. I carry personal protection only. We're not going to come up with someone saw you dumping her body. No. Hundred percent no. What was your relationship with this girl, Boris? It's not something I yell from rooftop. Hey, nobody's yelling from rooftops. I use expression. I got wife and kids in Latvia. Awful pretty girl. Last time I back in Latvia, she pleaded with me. Her boyfriend beat her. Her father threw her out. All she want is come to this country. Awful pretty girl. I make arrangements. So you pay the rent fare? Were you also paying the rent? It's cheap, tiny apartment. Rent is nothing. Buy her clothes? Something clothes I buy her. Dollar here, dollar there. It sounds to me like you were in for the big nut. No way, Jose. She asked me for co-op apartment. I love in face. She tells me some Russian with uh, nightclub likes her. I say, go to Russian with nightclub. Did she go? Oh, yeah. What's his name? Dimitri Gorov. Where's the club? Brighton Beach Avenue. After all you did for her, that didn't make you mad? You rent car. You don't get mad someone else drives. I called him, I've not heard back. I can't help that. Vicky, the guy is out working. I left the message with the desk officer. I am assuming when he gets a message, he's gonna call me back. Tell Nucci that as soon as I know something, I will call her. All right? Look, I, I, I gotta run. I'll talk to you. This is some pain in the ass I got into here. What's that? My nephew. Gets five tickets by a highway guy. I've called him twice. So far, he hasn't called back. Probably figures he's gonna get yelled at. I am not gonna yell. I just wanna know what happened. Marshal Bouvier. Is the highway guy? Spent his entire childhood life getting tormented because of his name. Now he's working a perfect job for getting even. You calling him again? How long am I supposed to wait for him to get back to me? Take two deep breaths, Dickie. Francis. What I handle here every day, I can't handle this. I just want to know, did he get the message? Yes, yeah, Sergeant Richard Santoro again. You hear from Officer Bouvier yet? Good. So, so he got the message, in other words. Excuse me, so, Sergeant. We're all busy. I am simply asking the courtesy of him returning my call. Good. So there's no problem then. You're going to give him the message. He's going to take a moment out of his busy day driving around looking for expired license plates to call me back. Good. You, you need I should leave you the number again? Good. Yeah, you do that. He's gonna give me an explanation. This is a sergeant. <laughs> like, I, like I'm asking him for the world, looking to get a call back. Not that you don't have every right to be irritated, Dickie, but uh, disparaging the highway cop is a profession. All I am trying to do right now is get a call back. Obviously, I'm only hearing one side of the conversation. It's possible everything you said was totally warranted. Just never hurts to take a diplomatic tack. You're right. Yes, yeah, Sergeant Richard Santor. Look, look, look. I, I, I did not mean to go off on uh, highway cops in general, or you in particular. Right? Which is why I'm calling you back now. I understand, S Sergeant. I field my fair share of calls from people wanting things also. I still manage to make a distinction where the request is coming from. 
Yeah, yeah, well, far be it from me that I should lay a crushing burden on you guys out there on the front lines of vehicular infractions. I hate to think what would happen in this city faces a wave of mufflers dragging on the pavement. Same to you, buddy. Much better. Phone girl, Jack was hooked up with D waiting in the alley. Homicide? So much for this shot getting back together. That reminds me, I got something for you. Friendship ring? Kathleen wanted me to give you this. Easier to put in writing how she felt. Oh, yeah. Hopefully, it's the first step towards putting things right. Okay, Ray, let's head over to Ozzy and Harriet's. It was mortal combat in there. Worse than before? Whew. Sounded like, like stacks coming together when the answer's back. Go back to your apartment now. After you were here last time, he came down and I slept my ethnicity. Go. Police. He is lucky it is not him. <laughs> Who are you now? Everything's under control. Well, Who is this guy? A family friend. Yeah, I'm Lanny Zeitler. I'm a friend. Who gave you your beating? I fight my own battles, man. Some hell of a job of it, too. Where's your husband? It's too far gone to be helped. That don't answer me. Somewhere getting his load on. Or maybe looking to re-up, scoring something that gives him artificial strength in a fight when ordinarily he'd take an ass kicking. What, speed, rock? Oh, oh, hey, man, I'm no informer. I fight my own battles. Did your husband catch you and this one carrying on, and that's what the fight was about? <laughs> All right, now don't start crying. My life is wrecked! Take me easy. I got a broken orbital phone and God knows what else, and God forbid a friend should try to help me! Friend, God bless. You got a record, Lanny? Parole officer we should be talking to? Oh, wait. Um, look. I got a hell of a respect for the job you guys do. It's thankless and, and, and valuable. I, I'm not bringing charges. Uh, Jerry's indicated that she's declined previous... Um, the assault call we had at this address earlier in the ship. No one's taking a call. But if I was your HMO, I'd tell you and Jerry to get together in motels. Well, I'm a prisoner in my own home. Pretty liberal visitation privileges. Stay inside. Fine. Where are stairs here, sir? Murph. At the nightclub owner? Right. He didn't time this guy. You checked? I got it from Hayes. Tax evasion, receiving stolen property, weapons possession. Gotta be looking at him hard. We are, Jack. Still all right, I'm in the observation room? Sure. Do you know what you're here for, Dimitri? That's what you say, answer questions, clear things up, right? You know a girl named Elena Romaskaya? No. Let's try again. Elena Romaskaya. I don't know this person. What if we said she was seen driving your car? Is only one cream-colored Cadillac in the bar of Brooklyn? How's the untaxed gasoline business? I'm out of untaxed gasoline business. Well, you're out of the untaxed gasoline business. Right. And you're not selling stolen liquor in your nightclub? And you're taking out for payroll taxes on everyone who works for you? What is it? Suddenly I am wanted criminal? When you tell us you don't know this girl, we know you're lying. That makes us wonder what else you're lying about. How's it going? Another one of Elena's friends. Shaking you've been following this case so closely? I feel like I owe it to her to show an interest. It's not going to clear the case any sooner. I know. Want me to stay in here with you? You want? She came to me with high heel shoes, leather pants, unbuttoned shirt. She told me about her boyfriend with a gas station who sells cocaine as a sideline. She asked me if she robbed cocaine from him. Can she move it through me? 
What did you tell her? I told her, forget about it. You kidding? No matter how she looked in leather pants. I knew her boyfriend from the time when I was in Antex gasoline business. He's not going to hesitate. He'll kill us both. Leave us in a ditch. What's the boyfriend's name, Dimitri? I don't know his name. What was the boyfriend's name? I knew this girl would hurt me. What are you taking a year selling cocaine, Sergei? I don't know what you're talking about. We set up that gas station. I think we find more than petroleum products going through there. I'm a legitimate businessman. Girlfriend of yours, she legitimate too? My girlfriend. You want to know which one, Brestikov? The one turned up dead. Oh, Yelena. How much did she steal? I don't say she stole nothing. How did she die of this whore? Shot. This stinking whore. It was a crime of passion. You want to say so? I have passion. I kill her ten times. I kill her. She went with a nightclub on her. I kill her. She went with a cop trying to get papers. She nice piece of ass. That's it. I don't have no passion. Hershey bar with almonds. Right. Getting to know you pretty good. Doyle's don't miss a thing. Did you get my note? Uh huh? Any spelling errors jump out at you? What jumped out at me was that it was Jimmy handed it to me. And that means something? We're working in the same place. I, I give it to him to give it to you. Did you also show it to him? I'm close with my brother, Phil. You're also a grown woman. You ought to be able to carry on a relationship without your brothers calling in the plays from the sidelines. I don't think I deserve to be yelled at like that. Why can't it ever be just us? Hey, Kathleen. I'll meet you by the car. I got to go. I'm looking for Sergeant Richard Santoro. That'd be me. I'm Officer Marshal Bouvier. Thanks for coming in. What did you want to talk to me about, Sergeant? You wrote some summonses on a kid, Johnny Mancuso. Happens he's my nephew. I'm aware of that. I was aware of that when I wrote up the summonses. You were? And the fact that he's your nephew is what kept me from locking him up. For what? I had to chase him for 12 blocks, using my lights, sirens, loudspeakers, till he finally gets it in his head that he better pull over. I wasn't aware of that. You were probably also not aware of the manner in which you invoked your name. Okay. He said you were going to bust me down to a foot post in the Brooklyn Battery Tunnel if I wrote him up. He also referred to my leather putties in questioning my sexual orientation. And he made fun of my name. He didn't say anything about that. Well, you might have investigated the circumstances beyond what he told you. Which is what I was trying to do by getting a hold of you. Except from the tone of the message you left with my sergeant, you had already concluded that I was wrong. Officer Bouvier, I apologize for jumping to conclusions. I apologize for crossing a line with your sergeant. The truth is, those five citations ought to be viewed by your nephew and yourself as an act of considerable leniency. You're right. I'm also aware of the things you said regarding the highway unit. You might want to rethink that attitude as well. We just about done? Is this the temper coming now? 
you want to be heading out now. I think I'm seeing where your nephew gets his arrogance from. You told me what happened. I apologize for what I said. That's it. You don't get to say nothing else. Now, without uttering one more word, put one leather putty in front of the other and get your ass out of my station house. Nochi, how you doing? Johnny around? Sector Eddie on the air, K. Okay, standing by. Report of a DOA in a vacant lot on Butler between Nevins and Third. That's right near us. Do this and we'll get over there. Sector Eddie, we're on our way. As soon as I saw my mistake going the wrong way on this one-way street, I was going to turn around my first chance. Had nothing to do with noticing we were behind you. What do you mean? Driver's license, please. Oh, the car belongs to my husband, of which this is not him. 10-4 Central. Plates come back to a Ford pickup truck. Either you or the mannequin who's not your husband have any explanation how a pickup truck's plates come to be on this car? That's Lanny. Okay. What about the truck plates? Well, we were going home just now. Somebody else putting questions to you because you ain't answering a damn thing I'm asking you. You and Lenny been sparring? Home remodeling. Jimmy and Ray give a disposition on that DOA yet? No, we probably ought to head over there. What's your address? 1321 Wyckoff Street. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Get that muffler taken care of. Get the plates taken care of. Show me a driver's license, and we're going to let you go. You are a doll. You don't have a driver's license. I do have a driver's license. What I don't have is my purse, which is where I keep it. Do you have a driver's license? Hmm? Do I have a driver's license? Okay, we'll go with your question. Oh, I'm not driving. I'm asking, do you have a driver's license? Oh, yeah. Hard. He's all right to drive? Uh-huh. Switch places. With who? Switch places with him so he can drive your car. This way. Oh. Okay. I don't mind him driving. Yeah? Good. What's with all the rope? What rope? Where? In the back seat. Oh. We have dogs. Dogs. We have dogs. Gotcha. Bye, officer. The luckiest human beings on the face of the earth. Now stall your car, I'm gonna stop traffic. Tell her in a community like him. Bring it to the squad to notify the wife. All right. Leave it to the wife to notify her boyfriend. What do we got? Strangulation. Where's that rope from? Probably what was used to strangle him. I think we got a description of a car might be involved. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Sector boy to Central K. Hey, Jack. How's it looking? We got no prints, we got no physical evidence, and we got no confession. It's not looking good. We still like one of these three guys, right? We like them, all right. You gonna lean on them? Based on what? Chances are we met some more of our friends we like them, too. So that's it, then. Jack, it's the first day. We're gonna work the case. You just gotta know, given the circumstances, given the fact these Russians don't give nothing up, it's possible this is one don't clear. Come forward to claim the body? Not yet. Let me know no one does. I don't want her ending up in Potter's Field. Thanks. Andy, take the desk. You got it, boss. 
How you doing, kid? Okay. Hope you won't worry about me asking you to come in. Huh, not at all. Just we got a little hitch in this ticket situation. Obviously, there's two sides to every story, but for some wacky reason, this highway guy claims that you refused to pull over when he told you to. First, I didn't know he wanted me to pull over, and then I was looking for a safe place. I knew there had to be some reason. Uh, absolutely. He also mentioned some things that you said to him. About his name, about his uniform, and things that you threatened him with that I'd do. <laughs> I was just joking around with the guy. Yeah, <laughs> well, what we gotta do now is hold you over. Whoa, whoa, what, what do you mean? I mean, the guy's gonna decide to charge you with things he initially let slide. Like what? I... Failure to comply, reckless evasion, intentional disparagement. Those are all felonies. So you're locking me up. Borrowing anything unforeseen, you'll be out 48 hours. Oh, you're kidding, right? Well, we keep your eye on them and uh, don't let them get at them. Huh? You got it, boss. Uncle Richard! I appreciate you coming forward with this Roman Skyer case. How's that coming? Chances are one of the ones they interviewed did it. I'm not overly optimistic they're going to be able to prove which one. KGB's a tough act to follow comes to scaring these guys. In the course of observing the interviews, the Elena that come across was a little different from the one I went to war with you over. Ain't nobody expected to be 100% when it comes to somebody they love. I was looking to kill the messenger. I was wrong. Don't need to say no more, Jack. All right. Let me I see you a minute. Sure, boss. Need to ask you a favor. You got a problem doing this. You tell me, and I want to stay completely. Phil, you busy? What do you need? I'm going to wait with her in the sitting room. I'll wait with him in one of the empty offices. Right. We can't wait together? That's not how it's done. I'm going to get my medication. For the 15th time, you'll get your medication when psychiatric services send them over. So when that going to be, man? I couldn't tell you that. Louie, come on. And then it's going to be my fault when I can't stop my stuff, right? Just relax. Relax. Sergeant wants to see you outside. Relax. My methadone. If I can't get my medication, they're going to put me in here with a young boy. Tomorrow morning, it's gonna be all, what he did, what he did. What they expect, man? You wanna lie down, you can take the bench. This your bench? No. Then why you all like you? You can take the bench then, huh? I just... Whose bench is it? Huh? Your bench. <laughs> You're damn right, it's my bench. Detectives ought to be back any time now. Then they'll talk to me? They might have a couple of questions, yeah. I really don't know how this come to pass. Maybe it was some dope connection of, of Paul's he kept me in the dark about. Is that a possibility? There's, uh... Does Lanny fit that description? No. What do you mean? I mean, you think it's possible he killed your husband? Oh, I would be very surprised if that was true. You don't think there's any chance he's pointing a finger at you, do you? Why would he do that? Well, I don't know. It just occurred to me, my partner's in there with him now, and maybe to help himself, he's putting it off onto you. Your partner's in with him now? Lanny loves me. He don't make up malicious stories. I don't care what. Problem is, Lanny, you're in a tough spot. You're involved with the guy's wife. We saw you at the guy's apartment the same day he was murdered. Then you stopped in a car two blocks from where the body was found. You know, maybe it's better I don't say nothing else. She kill him? I didn't say that. You want to be a hero. I look at her, I go nuts. Totally understandable. Just know you're going to jail for murder. 
I didn't kill the guy. Those detectives get in the room with her, I guarantee she's going to put it off on you. But she calls me. She says, come over. Uh, Paul's gone. Now, I figure she means uh, he's gone, like uh, usual, like gone to work. I get there. Uh, there he is, tied up in the back seat of the car. Dead? I don't know, Dad. He wasn't saying nothing. Hey, Lanny, if he wasn't dead when you got there, that means you killed him. Let me ask you this again. Was he dead? Yeah, I guess he was dead. And being a gentleman, naturally, you helped to get rid of the body. Oh, well, it sounds bad when you put it like that. Your boyfriend just gave you up, Jerry. What do you mean? He said you called him, asked him to help you get rid of the body. Might be a good time you think about telling us what really happened, Jerry. I can't believe he said that. You were married to an abusive guy. I could see where you might tie him up just so he wouldn't hit you no more. You know, all day he's drinking. It's true, I'm drinking too, but it don't affect me the way it affects him. By this afternoon, I had it. I said to him, Paul, let's stop with the beer already. Let's go to the liquor store, get some rock and rye. When we started dating, we used to like to get loaded on that. You were trying to rekindle something. That's exactly right. Now you get him out to the car. I get him out to the car, he passes out. I don't want him waking up starting in on me. I take the rope, I tie his hands and feet, and I tie his arms. How do you happen to get tied around her neck, do you think? I'll be getting accusatory with me. Is it possible the rope slipped? Slipped up around his neck. The, the, the rope I had tied around his arms and around his chest could have got slipped. Might have wound up around his neck. That is possible. We're going to want you to write all this down, Jerry. People will understand, right? They'll understand it was an accident. I'm sure they will. Broke. Johnny. Uncle Richard. Get up. You like it in there? No, sir. No, why not? It's scary. You bet your ass is scary. You want to go back inside, you just keep on going where you're going. I won't, I promise you. I will I... not. Because let me tell you something. You can look me in the eye and lie to me now. I hate to imagine what you're going to be capable of five years from now. At a certain point, it ain't a highway cop writing you a ticket. It's a detective breaking in the door. It's a shame that's what you're going to do with your life. I won't. I promise I won't. Your mother's waiting on you out front. I can go. You can go. Hello. Hey, you got the wife in there? Uh, yeah, but here, we saved you a little time. She confessed? Apparently the rope slipped around his neck. Eight times. Now, why the two of you just don't get your gold shields and come to work with us, I'll never understand. It's a fashion thing. You know, we stay in the bag, we never have to worry what we're going to wear the next day. Nice suit. See you, Jack. Hi. Be good. Hi. All right, we grab a seat over there. Okay. First, I want to say I'm sorry for yelling at you. Thank you. I know you love your brother and what he thinks is important to you. And there's nothing wrong with any of that. It's not like he isn't in favor of us being together. What happens he changes his mind? Why would he? I don't know. Just... What if he does? I don't... I don't 
understand that kind of question, Phil. I don't want to come between the two of you. It's just I need you looking up to me just as much as you do him. And I don't think that's ever going to happen. Well, I've known him a little bit longer than I've known you, Phil. Yeah. I think maybe you don't want to be with me anymore, Phil. I don't like it the way it is. I'm going to go back to my table. See you later. Phil joining us? Mm Mm-mm. Sorry for coming by so late. It's all right. I was just feeling restless. You sure you want to come in? Nah, it's late. Just as late standing outside. I just wanted to see you a second. I don't want to start coming in. Okay. You feeling all right? I'm fine. with women put me through the ringer you're an optimist you think you're gonna change them <laughs> I'm gonna think there's something in me lights them the way they are not to say they don't have their good qualities they ain't the good qualities I'm interested in they lie to me they make a fool of me maybe that's what I want Jack you want to help these girls you want to save them that doesn't mean you want to spend the rest of your life suffering <laughs> What do I want? To fall in love with someone who'll love you back. Same thing I want. What makes you think I haven't already fallen in love? You should try and get some sleep. <laughs> yeah. Think about something happy. <sighs> something what the future might hold? It's what I try to do before I fall asleep. And that's what I'll try to do, too. Night, Jack. Bye. Nona. Thanks. 